Hi, it's Peter here. Noise is something that we usually try to avoid in our images, at least in most cases. DxO Pure Raw and Topaz Dino's AI are great noise reduction software. Both softwares were upgraded recently. DxO Pure Raw is in version 1.5.0 build 285 and Topaz Dino's AI is in version 3.5.0 2021 release. This video is based on those versions of this software. I have both of these softwares and I use them regularly. I have these three images that I'm gonna try these softwares on and test which one is the best one. The first one has a lot of details in the bird, second one is really bad underexposed image and the third one has a night sky with some stars. So let's see how these software perform on these images when we talk about noise reduction. Let's start with this image of a great tit. I used EM1 Mark II and the ISO was 3200. I wanted to have a high ISO so, uh, so that I can have this image without any motion blur because these birds move quite fast. In DxO Pure Raw there are not too many adjustments that you can use. You can turn off the camera module or the lens module if you want. The advantage of DxO Pure Raw is that it has these lens modules. I would not turn them off. I would use them because they make the image slightly better. Here is the result from DxO Pure Raw. The left one is edited and the right one is the original. And you can see a clear difference in the image. Not much change in the exposure or the tones or anything like that. It's, it's quite nice. I think DxO Pure Raw made a good job on this image. Then let's try Topaz Dino's AI. It has a lot more adjustments to go for. Topaz recommends using the raw module on this one. If you have a raw image, then use this. And that's what I did. And I tried also the detail recovery, but I found out that when it's zero, the image is actually better. And here is the result from that. And let's compare these two images. The image from Dino's AI is a bit darker. And that's something that I'm a bit concerned at. Why does it make the image darker? In my case, when I use ETTR quite a lot and try to make as bright images as possible without clipping the highlights, it's not a big deal for me. But for some, it might be a bit distracting than the image is a lot darker. In this particular image, there is no color shift that is noticeable in this Topaz Dinos AI image. In previous tests that I've made with the previous versions of this software, DxO Pure Raw has been a slightly better software when it comes to noise reduction. But now I think Topaz has kind of reached the same level. So in that sense, there is no big difference. I will talk about a few differences that we can see from these images later in this video. But let's continue to the next one. The next image is this underexposed image. Then I used EM10 Mark IV and it was ISO 3200. Let's first talk a bit about how to make an image brighter. You can increase the exposure, but as you see, the noise becomes horrible. It's unusable. If we use the white slider, increase the white, it's a better choice. But I would not increase the exposure or the white before I have done the noise reduction. So noise reduction is the first thing to do, because then you can get the best results in the end image after you have edited the image. And as you see from this, there is a slight difference in Topaz and DxO Pure Raw. The Topaz Denoise AI image has a slight magenta cast in the shadows, which is a bit annoying. But of course, this is not that big of a problem because it can be easily fixed. In that sense, it's not a big deal, but it's a, a bit more work. So on this one, I prefer the DxO Pure Raw because it requires less editing in post after the noise reduction. But what comes to noise, again, quite similar. Then I have this night sky image. It was made with EM1 Mark II and the ISO was 6400. And in this image, it's interesting to see if the noise reduction software thinks that the stars are noise. Let's see how they perform. And again, as you see, quite similar results and both did not really reduce the amount of stars in this image. And again, quite similar results, not really big differences. And as you've probably seen, Topaz has really improved their algorithm or whatever that is called so that they are almost as good as DxO Mark. Why it is not as good as DxO Pure Raw, I will tell you in a bit. But before that, I do have affiliate links for both of these software. So if you're interested in testing them, please use those links. You don't pay any extra, but I do get a small commission. So it's a win-win situation. 
but let's move on and talk about the differences. What I think is that the noise reduction quality is about the same, so they are equal. In that sense, these two softwares are both as good as possible. And I really like this because proper noise reduction software can make our old cameras usable again. And we can use really high ISO even though our cameras might not be as good in low light as some other cameras. So I think this will kind of reduce the differences between a big, big sensor and a bit smaller sensor. And that's a good thing. There are two big differences. DxO Pure Raw has the optics modules which will correct other things too. So it will make a better image in my opinion, even though the uh, noise reduction is quite equal. And then Topaz Denoise also makes images a bit darker, which is not a big problem for me because I use ETTR and I will lower the exposure anyways in post. So that's just half halfway there. So that's not a bad idea to have a bit darker image out of the Denoise software. But then the other thing was the magenta color cast in the shadows that was quite visible in that underexposed image. And that is a bit of a problem if you don't have a reference place to click for proper white balance and cleaning the magenta color cast. You need to tweak with the different sliders and that could cause some more work for you in post. And that might be something that you don't like. But then the better thing about Topaz Denoise AI is that I think the image is more natural looking. Sometimes it feels that DxO Pure Raw makes the image a bit too sharp. And even if you turn off the global sharpness and the lens module from DxO Pure Raw. But it's closer to a more natural look. So turning this off might be a good thing after all. And that's why sometimes I use Topaz Denoise AI instead of DxO Pure Raw. But in general use, everyday use, DxO Pure Raw is a better software because the, the workflow is a bit bit faster and it's also a faster to do the noise reduction. Topaz Denoise AI was a bit slow, I, you know, I didn't measure, but it was 10 seconds versus 60 seconds. So it's DxO Pure Raw was about 60, uh, 60 by six times faster. And that could be another thing. But I think the best thing about DxO Pure Raw is that the workflow is a bit smoother than with Topaz Denoise AI. Both of these softwares can be used as standalone software or plugins for at least Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom Classic. Tobas Labs recommends using standalone version if you are using it for raw images. They say that it gives you better results. I did not test that, but I do believe what Tobas Labs says. And here is a video that you might watch. It's about noise reduction in camera. There are a lot of good tips how to get a better original to work on and then maybe using these softwares if those tips are not enough. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.